You teach a course where you normally lecture to students during class time. They work on homework and group assignments during their own time. What if there were a way to do the lectures outside of class time so you could use class time to have students work on activities together? Welcome to Flipping the Classroom Simply Speaking. It's a pretty common course design. Students gather in a classroom a few times a week to hear a lecture. A faculty member may show slides, play a few videos, demonstrate some concepts, or solve problems. On their own time, students work on problems and arrange times to meet to work on group projects. Some faculty are finding ways to increase student engagement and improve learning by flipping this design. In the new model, students watch, listen to, and interact with content on their own time, and then use class time for engaging activities. Here's how it works. Say you're teaching a biology course. One week, you talk about invasive animal species, such as the Asian carp. Instead of lecturing, you post a few YouTube videos about Asian carp. You also produce a video of your own in which you show some photographs of other invasive species and talk about their origins. You want to keep each video interesting, so you keep them under 10 minutes each. To help trigger discussion, you also include some questions that you will be asking students to think and talk about during your next class session. Later in the semester, Students can go back to these videos to review key concepts to prepare for an exam or to guide a project or paper. Short videos are just one option. Audio podcasts, VoiceThread, and many types of interactive media can be used as well. The main idea is to capture your presence, thoughts, and guidance that would normally take place in a classroom setting. Now that the lecture is done outside the classroom, what do your students do when they get together? You can have students bring their laptops to class, work in groups, and research one of the other invasive species that you discussed in your video. Where did they come from? What impact are they having? What is being done to control them? Since they're doing this research during class time, they can get your assistance in determining good sources of information and how to interpret what they're seeing. Also, you'll get a better idea of which students are doing their fair share of work in their groups. There won't be any more excuses that students don't have time to get together for group work. If an interesting idea comes from one group, you can get the attention of the class and have a spontaneous discussion. In short, you can create a much more active environment. There are many other activities you can do in the classroom. Have students discuss course concepts or take different sides of an issue and debate their merits. Students could share drafts of papers that they're writing and get feedback from you and other students. Students can work on difficult problem sets, share solutions, and ask for help when they get stuck. Organize students into groups and have them answer questions about a case study or they could write and practice a presentation about a topic of your choosing. There are ways of using class time for activities involving any discipline. The important thing is to get students to engage with the content of your course. Flipping your classroom involves some serious thinking about the way you are teaching and the way students learn, so you may want to start with a single topic or week and see how it goes. The results may surprise you. This has been Flipping the Classroom Simply Speaking. To get more information about this topic, visit tlt.its.psu.edu slash flip. This video was produced by Penn State University and is available for use under a Creative Commons license.